As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I think so too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. Long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Ugh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Oh, nah. Uh, me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. The hell are we gonna do? Whoa, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. Wow, to think you guys are the famous Phantom Thieves. Come on now, don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh! That's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. 
I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medice came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medice is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medice is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medice did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? I guess it's too late to cover this up. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing venture, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? Consider the possibilities. Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means... that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions! Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Fifi! I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word and I'm on it! Right. Well, for starters, we'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. <sighs> Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Huh. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Okay, looking forward to it. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia? Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is Sophia? Huh. 
it's nice to meet you too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, nope, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! <laughs>